Hi, I'm Dr. Erin Murphy from Sanger Heart Vascular Atrium Health in Charlotte, North Carolina. I think the Venus program is something to be proud of and is a highlight of the Charing Cross program. Yeah, I think the program is becoming more international every year, and I think the the interest in the program is expanding for good reason. I think it really adds value to the Venus space. Overarching themes this year on progress in the space, on data as it stands and where we have consensus and where we still need to go and, and drive movement in our field, and also on comprehensive care, which I think is really important in the Venus field. We really have to have a full understanding of the Venus and lymphatic system and not narrow in too much on one area and now have multiple options available to us from thermal closures, medical adhesive closures, foam options. And I think that the standard of care is really becoming this later group of therapies. And now, as we'll discuss at the program, the uh, options are starting to distinguish themselves and are better suited for certain patient groups and certain clinical scenarios. In the venous space, I think this is particularly important as the field itself is still being defined and we're still writing the textbooks in these spaces. So, so learning to navigate which, which to treat first, uh, what is most important for that particular patient, it, it's not easy. And so decision-making in that patient is going to be one of the focuses of our pelvic program. So as we know, the venous field is progressing very rapidly. We're still making you know huge leaps and bounds. Um, on a yearly basis. And I think the Charing Cross program has worked very hard to make a comprehensive and up-to-date uh, consensus on where, what we have available to us now, what we know now, and where we're going. I think it's a great update for anybody who is in this space and who is interested in what progress we're making.